Hi everyone, it's just me again. I'm just here to show you a little bit about thinglink.com and help you to determine if this is a really good and cool way for you to share with your teacher what you know about a variety of topics. So thinglink, as you can see from this picture here of this hummingbird, um, is going to allow us to create a number of links to an image about the topic we've learned about. And so here they have a bird and they've attached some music and some images and let me show you what to do. So first you're going to navigate to thinglink.com and then you are going to go here on the right hand side and log in with the account that your teacher has shared. I'm going to go ahead and log myself and if you've created any ThingLink projects in the past, they will show up right here on your dashboard and you could simply click on them to go ahead and um, to open them and edit or add tags and object and things like that. So let me just show you a couple. First, this is an interactive 360 degree image, which means that we're going to be able to navigate it around. And so I'll be able to turn this image and you can see these things right here. These are links. And so if I click this, it gives me some content. I'm able to either write that content myself or copy and paste it with a reference here on the bottom, see wikipedia.org, of where I got that information about my topic. I can even click here and actually use Immersive Reader and have it read the content to me or to my classmates if they were having difficulty in that area. Here I can click the camera and it's showing me another picture that maybe was taken from this view at another time. And so this is a 360 image. Here's another tag. All right, I'm going to go back and let me show you this. Here we can also add our links on an actual video. So I'm going to click here. And this is an interesting video about these birds. And so you can see here's our bird. And we click here and it's telling us that that's a magpie and the information is giving us about their habitats. Here is our immersive reader again with the read along option. I can't move this. But then I can click here and hear what their calls are, add audio to my file, or get extra information here about the magpie. So just a couple really cool options. And of course you can do this to a regular still image, which is what we're about to do. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to go ahead. Once you've opened your account or your teacher's account, you're going to go here to the top and click create. And once you create, it's asking, what do you want to attach your links to? So we're going to use um, an image. Now you can import the image from a URL, but if you don't own it, that's probably not a great option because of copyright law. So go ahead and find an image and put it on your computer, on your desktop or somewhere you can find it. I'm going to click upload and it's going to ask me where to locate it. So I'm going to navigate to my pictures and I'm going to use this image of the rock cycle. And here it is. So we're going to use this as our anchor image, meaning we're going to add all of our tags to this one particular image so I can share with the entire class what I know about rocks, maybe minerals, and the rock cycle. So all I have to do is over here click add tag and it gives me the option. Do I want to add text, just information about my image? Do I want to add media? That would be videos and audio. Do I want to add content from a website or create a tour? From now, let's go ahead and add media. So I'm going to click here and you can see at the very top it says change icon. I can decide what is that little button on my image going to look like. So I can click here and I can choose from a number of things. I'm going to click this the musical notes because I want to add some music and I'm going to choose it in red and then I'm going to say this is the rock cycle song and I'm going to navigate to another tab to this song that I've already found on the types of rocks and I'm going to highlight this and hit control and C to copy it and come back here and go to this line where it says button URL. Again, that's the web address and I'm going to paste that right there. Okay, 
and then I'm going to say done. Now you can see that this button is right in the middle of my image. I can drag it and put it anywhere I want. I think I'll like it right there so it has a lot of contrast with the white. Now it's time to do that again. So I'm going to click add tag and this time I might add content from a website. Let's see what other icons we have. Hmm, we're using a website. So maybe just the book. And then let's try a different color, green. And it says URL again. So I'm going to navigate to another page that I have here, all about minerals and mineral properties. I'm going to click on the URL at the top of my address bar and use Control C to copy it. Go back to my Thing Link tab here. And then I'm just going to click and paste right here. Now again, I'm going to click Done. And now I have a link right here and I'm going to move that around. Now I can continue to add as many links as my teacher might require. Um, she might add so ask for you to add so many um, paragraphs or sentences about content, so many vocabulary words, maybe one or two videos, one or two web pages, maybe even a review game for your topic. So there's a lot of things you can do. So I'm going to find one more web page here, and this is on the rock cycle and types of rocks. So again, I'm going to click and copy this and navigate back to my thing link. And let's go ahead and add that. Now, which one do you think it is? Text, media, or content from website? Of course, that's another website. So I'm going to click here and paste the site and change the icon to something else. We'll just make it a star. Let's try for yellow this time and click done. Okay, so we've added some web pages, we've added a video. How about adding another image? So I'm going to say add tag and I'm going to just add an image that pops up from my image. So I'm going to click here, add text and media. And I can change the icon. I'll put a camera. And maybe this time we'll just make it white. And down here where it says image or video, I can click there, navigate to my pictures. And let's see what I have. How about the rock types? And click open. Great. Now I have an image here of the three different types of rocks and some brief descriptions about how they're made. So I might want to find a key place on my image to anchor that. Where should we put it? Right in the middle, up here. The whole thing is about the rock cycle, so I may just need to move these around a little bit. Now, we can also add a video. So in the same way, on the left, click Add Tag, Add Media. If we have an image on our media video on our website, we can click here, and this time we can navigate to our videos and click the appropriate video that we want linked to our ThingLink account. I'm going to click Cancel since I don't have an appropriate video. But this time I'm going to going to click at the bottom, add a text label. And I want to go ahead and say rock cycle. And we'll just try this. I'm done. This is our rock cycle. So when you nap, when you hover over the top, it simply pops up. And let's try one more thing. I'm going to navigate back to my types of rocks and I'm going to click on here and it's going to allow me to edit it. Now, if you look on the left hand side, it also says upload audio, but right here, there's this little microphone. So if I click that, it asks for permission to use my microphone. I can say allow, and it will let me record anything that I want to say 
about the three types of rocks and how they were formed. It says recording, so it's captured my voice. Let's check it out. It's uploading. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so you can go here to settings before you're done. And there's a couple things you can do. You can change the color scheme. If you click here, it will allow you to change the overall colors just by clicking these. If you happen to know the very unique color codes, um, textual color codes right here, you can change those. But you might have to look up those online. And then it says tag animation. Okay. You can turn that on. And so your tags might flash or blink when somebody's looking at them. It gives a little bit of special effect. And then it says hide logo. Well, this is owned by ThingLink down here in the right hand corner. And usually you have to leave this on there unless you have a premium account, but you can a certain number of times click hide logo and you'll see that ThingLink is now gone. And of course you can upload your audio or you can go ahead and do a voice recording about the entire rock cycle that will play immediately when one of your viewers is checking out your work. Click done when you're finished and done when you're done with your thing link. And you can see here is our sample. Now we have a couple options and up here in the very right hand corner, you're going to see share. And when we click share, we're going to be able to embed embed our thing link on another page, in which case we copy the embed code and place it somewhere else. We can publish to social media if you have that access in your school. But what we generally do as students is we're going to share the link. And so here is a link right here. Again, you can highlight it and then use control and C and copy and paste this link in a number of places to share with your teacher. You can send it to her in an email. If you're using Microsoft Teams, you could post it there to complete your assignment. Or if you're using Seesaw in an elementary or middle school to document student work, this is a great way to go ahead and add the link there. So not only will they see their work later and have that um, in future classes, but their parents will also be able to see what they're doing in school. So I could hit copy the link and then close when I'm done. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed checking out ThingLink. I hope it's given you some ideas of different creative ways that you can show your teacher all that you know. Have a great day.